Hey everyone, welcome back. I am here today with an updated setup of my disc bound planner. Now I am currently using this beautiful Notique agenda cover in the color Bisque. This actually just arrived a couple of days ago, but I also got this puppy in the mail. It is the Louis Vuitton um, desk agenda and it is perfect for the disc bound system and for me kind of wanting to go down a little bit smaller in my disc size. All right, so let's set that aside. I am currently in one and a quarter inch discs from Levenger. I like these, but, and I think I saw Jen McIntosh say this on her Instagram as well, I'm finding myself trying to add more things to make the discs um, functional because the bigger they are, the more they hold. And for example, I've got notes falling out everywhere. Um, they're a little wobbly if you don't have them filled for their purpose, if that makes sense. So if you try to put just 10 sheets on these discs, it's not gonna function very well. Also, I'm filming at night. You guys know I hate filming at night. However, I wanted to jump into my new planner and it's October 1st when I am filming this and I am ready to clean things up in my planner. So let's get started. So I'm going to take some things out. Um, I want to move back into my, um, these are one and a quarter, maybe one. These are from Little Miss Fancy Plans. Um, I love these. They are rose gold. To me, they're more like a champagne. I'm just avoiding calling them rose gold. Anyway, they are absolutely beautiful. This is actually what I store like my used inserts on. So I'm going to quickly take these off. Um, along with the cover, I have like extra plastic covers from Levenger and from Cloth and Paper for this purpose to store my inserts in. There is a helicopter like right over our house and it is shaking everything. <laughs> it's like the universe is like, oh, Julie's filming, let's interrupt. Okay, so I'm just gonna take um, pretty much everything off of here. Um, get these inserts out of the way. I do save my old inserts and I have some extra larger discs and I think that's what I'm going to move all of my inserts to. Now one of the things that I notice is when you move into a cover like this that is um, specifically for or without a strap, I should say. I know how like companies like cloth and paper sell A5s without rings, marketed so that you can use them for discs. However, the ones that are actually marketed for discs are a little bit slimmer. So um, what I've noticed is you'll wanna use a more um, smaller disc in those planners so that everything's not sticking out over the edge. And the LV is no stranger to that because I just wanna kinda show you the width comparison here. This is definitely going to to be like a slimmer profile planner. There's like at least half an inch less on the width there. So as the width gets smaller, you're going to want to keep your um, insert smaller. And I'm just gonna slide the back into the back of the cover here. Um, and that's what's gonna keep it inside of the leather in case you're new to the whole disc world. I know if you're watching this, you're probably like, I've been in disc for 10 years and you're an idiot, Julie. <laughs> Anywho, I mean, I can laugh at myself. And the only thing I'm gonna kind of move over is this card from Cloth and Paper. I think this was in one of my recent orders or the newest subscription box. I'm not totally sure. I don't do a whole lot with my pockets, you guys. I'm not like a professional and I'm, I just, I'm not that fancy about them. And the Louis Vuitton has like bigger, more envelope style pockets. Not a lot of these card slots to um, really get decorative in here with. Another thing is the L does not have a pen loop that doesn't totally bother me so if that's something that you're like I need a pen loop I just don't necessarily need one to be on the planner itself and I notice most of the time I don't even use it it's so I know for sure that I want this um, card pocket I got mine from Poi and Hun it's very very good quality super um, durable I have moved my stuff around so many times on discs and I love it. Also keeping this um, dashboard from East Street Paper Co. And I will try to list everything. If I don't, for whatever reason, just ask me down in the comments and I will do my best to answer you. 
Then I've got this vellum, the morning mindset. A lot of things I am going to keep. So let me just preface that. However, there's a lot that I need to take out of this planner with going into the um, last quarter of 2020. This vellum is also from Poi and Hun. Very, very beautiful, but I've been a little bit rough with it. I'm not gonna lie. And um, I need to be a little bit more careful. I've got my, um, there is luxury and simplicity. I need to be careful because things are rubbing up against this, um, the lettering there starting to come undone. I should probably order another one at some point. Um, yeah, do that. Okay. So I've got <laughs> just random post-it notes, but I'm going to keep them there because this is my, um, schedule section of my planner. Now I did grab some things like I'm just moving forward and forgetting the things that I grabbed, but I do have a today dashboard from cloth and paper. Some of these things were in like the most recent box from cloth and paper, but I want to somehow add them in this um, system, but I also need to take out a bunch of other things. So I'm going to focus first on only moving over the things that I'm transferring over. Now this is the section where I've had some like undated um, weekly inserts from cloth and paper. And the thing is in the subscription box back in, I think it was August, September, I'm not sure. You got inserts for October, 2020. And since these are dated, these are the ones that I'm gonna wanna use. And it came with vellum and this dashboard. Oh my gosh, it feels so like fancy. It's beautiful. Um, and then you have this um, important dates, to-do list, all of that stuff. And then you have your monthly insert and the week on two pages. I don't know if this is really considered vertical. I mean, it is vertical, but it's also kind of horizontal. Anyway, you have all of these for the month of October. I'm still going to keep my other monthlies that were at the beginning of this section just because I don't know what inserts I'm gonna go with um, for the rest of the year, but I know that I wanna use these ones since they are dated. So the ones that I've used, I'm going to take off and put on my discs that have my used up inserts. And then the ones that are unused, I have another set of discs where I keep my unused um, inserts and then those will be fine over there. But Definitely don't want those in there. So what I'm gonna do is pop in this entire October section. Probably shouldn't have done that many pages at once, but it is what it is. Now onto my daily section. I definitely wanna take out all of the pages that I have used for Let's see, I wanna keep that 2020 page. I don't know, I just like it. Do I need 2020 in my planner like 30 times? Maybe, I don't care. But these are all of my September inserts. I already have discs with my um, July, August. I have like part of June, July, and August. And now I have all of these September ones that are going to come out. And those will go on my discs with all of my completed um inserts and I kind of love this. I like flipping through them. Oh, I missed a day or two. Um, however, I don't need to necessarily have them on here, um, especially when I'm trying to like downsize um, the discs that I'm using. So I think what I'm going to do, because I have dated ones and I always get asked where this ruler is from. This is actually a tool ruler. I don't know if you can see the embossing on there, but it is from Tool at Office Max. Um, it was like a couple of bucks. And then I just stuck a daily sticker on there. So let me get that out of the way. I already started October because obviously today is October um, 1st. And then I think that we should just stick with October. And I know you guys are gonna kill me. I am taking way too many inserts off at a time. So let's just slow your roll <laughs> and take less off and then move those over. And I do have like, I had all of the rest of 2020 on here, which I realized was only a couple of months, but it's a big chunk of inserts. It really, really is. So you want to be careful with how much you have on here. Um, I'm not going to take 
any of the rest of this with me. That was a significant chunk. I do like this card. This is from Little Miss Fancy Plans. It came with my order. It is just so pretty and beautiful when it's layered on these things along with this cloth and paper. I'm trying not to rip things. I made this sticker sheet, a reusable sticker sticker sheet from a finished sticker sheet. Just put washi and punched it. I like how it turned out. Let's get those things added on there. I should probably lam laminate that or put like um, packing tape where the punch is on that because that's just like a postcard type material and it's getting a little bit worn. All right, next up is my projects section, which is actually just my YouTube area. Um, I keep these dashboards that have the tabs at the top mainly because I like them. Um, and it also just gives me an extra place to put notes and things like that. And I love these transparent post-it notes from um, Post Office Depot. I was gonna say from the post office. <laughs> No, um, I got these trackers from um, Little Miss Fancy Plans as well, and it is to track content, and I'm just going to grab, I don't think I need all of these. I think I'm just going to do like three months worth and move those over. Again, I have a whole pile of things that I want to add, so I'm trying to be um, cognizant of that. I've got some project inserts in here that are already filled in, and those are going to go to my like finished or my completed inserts. This is just a social media task, like cheat sheet almost for myself. And then I've got some, like three or four pages of dot grid that I'm gonna add. This beautiful splatter dashboard from Cloth and Paper. This one's really like strong. <laughs> kind of hard to get off. There we go. All right, and then I've got another dashboard from East Street Paper Co. These are very well laminated too. All right, next up is my finances section. I'm trying to not talk in the middle of <laughs> pulling the um, dividers off the discs because it's kind of loud. And typically when I'm doing that, I try to not have my discs on the table because you can hear just how they're like clanking up against it and it's so loud, so loud. So I got these purchase trackers. This is actually from my um, friend Kate. She just, next I have these purchase tracker inserts from my friend Katie over at Katie K Plan. She was so sweet to give those to me. Um, I have a wish list, but that's kind of old. I don't think I'm gonna bring that over. And then I'm just gonna grab like two more pieces of graph paper. I'm trying to keep a visual of like what's going on here. There we go. One of my dividers wasn't in all the way. Um, so there's two more dot grid. There's some things I'm gonna have to move over later from here. I started to use the habit tracker that came in the cloth and paper box, this one right here, but I have not done very well at it. So we're gonna start a fresh one for the month of October, and I'm just gonna grab two of those out of here. And let's see, I've got some note paper. All right, we're not full just yet, <laughs> however, I don't wanna get too full. So I'm just gonna grab one, two, three, four-ish pieces, so not all of those. So I'm gonna have to like really organize what's left behind in here to put on my discs where I keep all of my um, not used yet inserts. All right, let me save that note for later. So this is what we've got so far. Let's see how it's, it's closing perfectly. There's lots of space still left in here and there's no overhang, which was my fear with keeping the larger discs in here. And it just, it definitely feels a little bit easier to carry. All right, so I just got this printable off of Instagram. It is from C Payne Plan, C P A Y N E Plan. I'll put it across the screen here. It is so beautiful. It is a Black Lives Matter free printable. And the second I saw it, I was like, I want this in my planner. So if you want it, be sure to go visit her um, Instagram page and you can download it from there. All right, where do I want to put this? Where do I want to put this? I kind of want it right here, but I kind of want it layered with this. I don't know, I kind of want it on top too, but then you can't see the grid. 
Let's see what's going on back here. There's already tons of layering there. All right, I think I'm gonna put it behind this grid page right here. Uh, I mean, I do like that. I do like it. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty, I love that. Okay, next up I have, see I don't really know if I need the inbox thing. And I've got the today marker, but I have my bookmark. So maybe I'll hold off, like maybe I need to chill out. <laughs> And adding all of these things. Um, I do like this vellum. It just has like the fall, winter, 2020 volume, all that stuff. Where do I want to put that? Do I want to layer that there? There's so many layers. I feel like this should go somewhere. Ooh, yes. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes things like that. Oh, I swear the vellum from cloth and paper, y'all, it's just it's too good. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay. Um, <laughs> I get too excited. All right. So I think we're going to hold off on these two. They kind of seem unnecessary right now because I have plenty of places for an inbox. I've already got a today bookmark. Um, I think I already have enough notes pages, so I'm not so sure that I necessarily need to add that. However, I do want this dashboard in here, and it, this is from the most recent cloth and paper box, and it says changes, and it's in this beautiful, I don't know which color it is of theirs. They have so many beautiful color names, but it is gorgeous. Um, that's what it is. And I feel like, again, I feel like I want it way up here, but there's already so much going on up here. Does it really matter? Does it really matter? Ooh, it could go like right there, sandwiched in between those two things. Sure. I know I'm gonna move this one around like at least 100 times. That is just too beautiful. I like it. That is really nice. Okay. All right, there is that. And then these inserts are the inbox inserts. Of course, after I just said I don't need my inbox, it kind of makes sense to have the inbox and then these with that. Also, there's a film on here. If you guys are new to cloth and paper, <laughs> this is a film. It is not going to stay on the planner. Oh, now I want to add it. But I just want to make sure that I'm not going too overboard with, I did not take this off very well. These things are a pain too when they get caught on the teeth. Oh man. Okay. Give me a second. Oh my God. It's just still a piece stuck to it. Okay. Ah, there's gotta be a better way to get this stuff off. Maybe. Oh my gosh. Okay. Maybe not. All right. So I do think that I want to add this on here. I have no idea what I'm going to use these inbox inserts for, but I like them and I want them in here. Don't need that page. There's only a few pages of it. So it's really not going to add that much bulk, but this alone looks beautiful without putting something in front of it. <sighs> Maybe I could put it after that. Yeah, let's do that. I just love all the layering in this thing. And I love how you can just move things around just like rings, but on discs. So we're just going to do that. That's going to be my little inbox section. That's what we're going with. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. All right. Ah, that is beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Next up, I think I'm just going to put the newest stickers. These are the avant-garde dots. I can't remember. Are these transparent? Wouldn't they say they're transparent? Oh, they are transparent, but they're black. Okay, I'm here for it. I think that's just gonna be fine just like that. I do love that the LV has this larger pocket here and this giant pocket here. There are a ton of card slots in the back. I haven't really tried like true card slots. And this was another thing I was going to add, um, a picture of my daughter and I. We actually just took that today. Um, oh, there's a pocket down here, what? Oh my God, shows you how much I know. Oh man, what do I wanna put there? I know that I've got some other stuff. I could move. Nope, that's not gonna fit. However, it could just sit there like that. That's fine. Um, let's see if cards actually fit in this. Um, kind of, oh, okay, there we go. Yes, I don't wanna stretch the pockets too much. Let's see, where can I put Kayla's picture? I'm really digging the plant vibe, but <laughs> I should probably put a picture of my child in my planner. Oh, I need a place to tuck this. Like, I don't know, there? Does that look okay? There's a massive glare. That does kind of look okay there. I need more of those paper clips. Okay, 
where do we want to put the October card? I normally put one of the cards, where is it? Right here. Oh my God, my August card is still sitting in here. I never even switched over to September. It is definitely not August. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but they come, the boxes, oh, you really, <laughs> really can't see it. Anyway, there are these cards that come in the cloth and paper boxes. I'm going to go ahead and switch out to the October one because that makes the most sense. I'm just going to slide it in there. All right. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Let's put my um, bookmark where it needs to go for today so I don't get lost. <laughs> There is still a lot of space on this disc, you guys. And for me personally, this is how I can tell. If there's some wiggle room there, it's because I have a little bit more space to add things. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow my roll. I'm going to slow my roll. I'm kind of loving this um, more slimmer profile for now. I, I don't know. I think this is gorgeous. I love it. Okay. That is everything for my updated setup. I hope that you guys enjoyed doing this kind of with me, like new setup with me kind of thing. If you have any questions about any of the items that I mentioned in this video, please feel free to ask down below. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes on the weekends, all kinds of times. Thank you guys so much for joining me today and I will see you in my next video.